हरे कृष्णा जय जगन्नाथ तो एज दर्ल्ड फेमस ग्रांड स्पेक्टिकल ऑफ दर्ल्ड जगन्नाथ रथ यात्रा इज नियर अप्रोचिंग सो लेट अस नो द मिराकुलस हैपन इन द सेवेंटीन सेंचुरी दैट चैरियट ऑफ द लॉर्ड जगन्नाथ स्टॉप on the way so the devotional prayer of a staunch devotee that made the jagannath charya stopped until that devotee arrives so let us know that what is that devotional prayer and who is that devotional who is that staunch devotee of jagannath that uh, made the lord charya stops on the way so in 17th century there was a there was a staunch devotee of jagannath called bhakt salavegas Salavega was born in a Muslim king, Lieutenant of Jahangir. His name is Lal Beg. His father's name is Lal Beg, and his mother was a widow Brahmin from Puri, village near Puri. So, <clears throat> being a Muslim born, he was not allowed to en- enter into the uh, sanctum sanctum, the temple, and only opportunity for him to see the Lord. on the chariot festival because lord comes out from the sanctum sanctum to the outside wall mount on a chariot to shower his mercy so once in 17th century salave went to bundavan while coming back from bundavan on the way if he actually had a intense desire to see the lord chariot world famous chariot festival but and presently all of a sudden he fell sick on the way so realizing that his helpless condition he cannot reach on time to witness this world famous chariot festival of the lord jagannath so he prayed he offered a devotional prayer petitioning the lord to stop until he arrives let us know what was the prayer and how lord reciprocated the prayer and he stopped the chariot for that stunned devotee salave so here this is the song happened in 17th century the butter logobondhu he go sai tum hasi charan binu anagati nahi tum hasi charan binu अनगति जगबंधु सो सो यू कैन सी हियर दैट दिस फर्स्ट हंजा ऑफ द प्रेयर्स दिस वेरी व्हाट यू से वेरी इंटेंसली डिवोशनल प्रेयर वाज दैट जगबंधु हे गोसाई तुम्ह श्री चरण बिनु अन्य गति ना जगबंधु मीन्स लॉर्ड ऑफ दिन फ्रेंड ऑफ द यूनिवर्स O oh, friend of the universe, there is no destination other than your lotus feet. So here, this poet, this trans devotee, Vaishnava poet Salabeg, is petitioning in the first stanza that he addressing Lord as a friend of the universe, Jagabandhu. Actually, it is a fact, sastrikali also. Krishna said in Bhagavad Gita, the Swidam Sarvahu Tanaam. i am the well wisher friend of all living entity so propad is given in sanskrit there are so many uh, connotation of the friends friends bandhu sruhidam means that is a different kind of friend not high by friend he is actually well wisher friend and we can know that how lord is so well wisher friend we have torn away from the lord since time memorial but still lord is accompanying us as a super soul and guiding us to bring us back to godhead back to him it is just like a 
just like a son of a opulent father torn away from the father and suffering our state our condition at present is same we have torn away from the opulent father and undergoing the obnoxious misery of birth death disease old age just like a finger as long as it is attached to the body it has got value if it is amputated it has no value similarly as long as we are with lord we have got some value otherwise we are anatha we have no uh, shelter no protection so it is rightly say that lord is the jagabandhu the friend of the universe tumbha sri charana vinu anya gati nai there is no other destination than thy lotus feet actually it is a fact nobody can protect us because all our friends family my our jobs our uh, securities so called mundane security investment that cannot help at the time of death that cannot give us the shelter at the time of death because a blind man cannot lead a blind or a bind man cannot free the other bind man so therefore lord who is the protector of the three world param brahma param dhama pavitram paramam bhava paramam bhava so he is the protector he is the ultimate shelter of everyone so he can only free us from this uh, excruciatingly painful situation from this uh, from this material bondage and lord's lotus feet is only way by taking shelter of the lotus feet only way that we can free from this obnoxious misery that is very nicely stated in this beautiful verses i can show you that uh, this this beautiful verses uh, that uh, it is stated here my dear lord for one who is being tormented on the terrible path of birth death and is constantly overwhelmed by the three fold of misery i do not see any possible shelter other than your lotus feet which are just like a refreshing umbrella that pours down showers of the delicious nectar beautiful verses the lord lotus feet is like a refreshing umbrella that pours down shower of delicious nectar only shelter those who are tormented in this material so let's go to the second stanza jagabandhu he gosai so here bhakta sala beko says that he remembers the lord how on this festival of on this ratha jatra day lord looks so brilliant ratha chari pase lambe mukutara jhala jhalamal disutai prabhu chakadola so lord looks very brilliant very scintillating lord looks very splendid very uh, what you say um, very splendid very splendid and it is uh, very richly decorated Uh, splendid on the chariot and uh, and it 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 is richly decorated on all four side ratha chari pase lambe mukutara jhara jhalamal disu thai o chakadola means round eyed lord you look brilliant on the chariot which is splendidly and richly decorated with on all side all four side so he is remembering the chariot festival of the lord how lord comes forth from the sanctum sanctum to outside world on a royal procession to mount the chariot with all his magnificent splendor jagabandhu he gosai aage chole bolo bhadra 
मधे चांद मुहिरे आसुची करिया पथे गहन लगाई रे आगे चले बल भद्र मधे चांद मुहिरे आसुची करिया पथे गहन लगाई रे so in, in this stanza, Bhakta Salavika say that Age Chole Balabhadra. Balabhadra is called Balarav. So Balabhadra moves in the front. And in the Moonsep Subhadra, Madhe Chanda Muhi means Moonsep Subhadra in the middle. And rear becomes the Kaliya. Kaliya means dark darling of devotee with much fun and fair. So Balarama means, Bala means friend. Rama means spiritual enjoyment. So Balaram is the, he gives us the spiritual strength for spiritual enjoyment. Therefore, he is Adi Guru. He is the expansion of the Jagannath. First expansion, Balaram, Sankarsa. So he is the Adi Guru because he gives the spiritual strength. And Subhadra, Bhadra means auspicious. Su means auspicious. Bhadra means well-being. So he bestows auspiciousness for our well-being. And Jagannath means, Jagat means moving. All that is moving. Everything is moving in an animated, inanimated. Everything is moving in this world. We are also moving from one species to another species, one from one body to another body. So Lord Janni, this chariot festival, the journey of the Lord is to stop our obnoxious movement, stop our obnoxious journey from one body to another body in this material existence. So, Lord is so causelessly merciful. He comes out and mount on the chariot to deliver the conditioned soul. This is Udara Bhava, his full, more merciful Lord, actually. He wanted to give us all conditioned soul a chance to go back to Godhead simply by seeing the Lord. It is stated in Skanda Purana, Rathitu Bhamanam Dusta Punar Janmana Vidyate. Simply by seeing the Lord on the chariot, one can get the spiritual enrichment and emancipation. So here he remembers the festival. The, according to the custom, Balabhadra comes in the front, Subhadra, Moonsep Subhadra comes in the middle and real the Jagannath, the Lord of the Universe, the Kaliya, the another name is Jagannath in Uriya language called Kaliya means dark, dark darling of the devotee. Comes in the rear with form, with, with so much commotion, so much fun and fair. That is the meaning of this stanza. <laughs> Jagabandhu he gosai Sato so puncha so gosu Chadvi no paroi Moho jiba jaye Nandi ghose ti parohi Sato so puncha so gosu so in this stanza, in the final stanza, Bhakta Salabega petitions him with more fervently, more intense prayer. That my Lord, I am lowly born. Kohe Salah Bega Hino Jati Re Jabana. Because of my Muslim born, I am outcast. I am lowly born. He is showing his so much humility. Humility impresses the Lord. It is it is it is said that the meek and humble in her is the kingdom of God. It impresses the Lord. Gopi Vartu Pada Kamala Dasa Dasa Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So here the great exalted Vaishnava himself. Feeling very so humble, is one unqualified outcast. He's petitioning to the Lord, My Lord, I'm away from 750 miles 
I am sick. I am unable to reach on time to witness your world famous, the grandest spectacle of the world, the chariot festival, Ratha Jatra. Please, I humbly pray you that you are you there, you be there on the chariot until I arrive. Because he knows that if he misses the chances, it's very difficult for him to again see the Lord for one year. So it intensified desire, lowlyam, that desire, that greed, that intense desire, that will be that we can purchase. Rupa Goswami say, Lolam me ekamulyam. Only price we have to pay in order to conquer the Lord, in order to uh, purchase the Lord, that is lowlyam, intense greed, intense desire. So here it is expressing the intense desire to see the Lord. And what happened as a result of this prayer, you can see here. So Lord Chariot stops. Lord Chariot stops on the way. There's a place called Bali Gandhi. We happened to be there in the last year. Last to last year, two years back. So that places the Lord stops, and that places Lord stopped his chariot. It was unmoved until Salabega came. Then chariot started moving. To feeling so indebted to the Lord's causeless mercy, Salabega made a bhajan on that places and composed so many devotional songs and spent his time glorifying the supreme personality of the God, God has supreme personality of Godhead, Lord of the universe, Jagannath. And that place is now a samadhi of that staunch devotee Salabega. And every year, Lord passes by that particular place, stops for some time. That is the custom. So how it says that, it shows that how Lord is so much controlled by the devotee, so much purchased by the devotee. Lord himself say that, nothing can purchase me. Na sadhayati maam jogo. Na sankhya na dharma uddhava. Na sodhaya tapastaga jatha bhakti rama mordita. 11, 14, 20, Srimad Bhagavatam. It is stated that, my Lord, I cannot be. Lord say himself say to Uddhava, I am only conquered by the bhakti. There is no other way I can be conquered. So this is a beautiful verse. He say that, that uh, my dear Uddhava, the unalloyed devotional service rendered to me by my devotee bring me under their control. I cannot be thus controlled by those engaged in my mystic yoga, Sankhya philosophy, pious work, Vedic study, austerity and announces. So Lord has categorically stated that I only can be controlled. And in, other, in, in, in any other places, it is stated, uh, the Lord spoke to the, uh, the great says, uh, name is uh, Gurvasa. The Lord say that here, Bhagavan Ubat, Aham Bhakta Paradhinahi, O Satantra Ibhadejo. I am controlled by my devotee. I have no independence, O Satantra. Sadhuvir Gastahudaye. Gastahudaye means I am controlled by the heart. My heart, means control. My heart is controlled by the devotees. What to speak of? What to speak? Speak of my devotees. Even those who are devotees of my devotees are very dear to me. Bhaktir bhaktajana priya. So how much Lord is controlled by the devotional service devotee? On this strength, spiritual strength, bhakta salavek called out intensely, fervently, a goggly petition to the Lord, my Lord, I am sick, I am helpless, I cannot reach to witness your chariot festival. Please be there until I come. Please be there on chariot. Please stay on that chariot. 
until I arrive. And Lord reciprocated with devotees as he does and stop the chariot. Thank you very much. Jai Jagannath.